Hey everybody, this is Sean Davis, and I got a great video for you on pre-search. Have you ever heard of pre-search? If you haven't, you gotta freaking watch this video. This is a cryptocurrency project, but it's a Google, imagine Google is a, a search engine, right? So this is gonna compete with Google as a search engine, but it's decentralized. It also pays you as the user to search. Every time you search, I can even see it, but I get a little money. It pays node owners to deliver the search results. So you got a little computer that helps, right? Helps the network. So the network's gonna be all over, decentralized. So it keeps your stuff private. It also does not bias your search. And so that's one of the problems is Google has 90% of like the, like um, of the market share. And so every time you're searching anything, they're putting you towards what they want you to put you through. Their videos, Vid, YouTube, right? They're putting you through the, the your things, and with pre-search, you're not. So I'm going to show you all that. But um, super elegant. It is a. Uh, I think it's better. It's a better experience than Google, guys. And um, the token itself is way undervalued. Maybe I'll show you that first. I'll show you the token, and then I'll show you the website. I'll show you the founder. I'll go through everything I know. Just chill out if you want to know about this because it's a great opportunity. Think about Google, but think about you own the platform. You you have the rights to the uh, you you can stake. You have you have the the um, you have the money that's used throughout the system, right? That's going to go up in value as people use it. So I'll show you. So imagine buying shares in Google before it was Google. I guess is kind of the idea, right? Except this is these are tokens. So. Let me go here, first of all, to here, down, there we go, boom, okay. So guys, here's pre-search, we're just gonna go over the token, this is just the, uh, this is how it looks, pre-search. Guys, it's ranked 572, way down the list. The market cap is only 39 million, this is like a dream. 39 million is the market cap, and the circulating supply, guys, is Almost, it's 396 million, but almost 400,000 out of 500,000. So 80% of the circulating supply is out. The max supply is 500,000. Um, and so, uh, and it, like the price is just under 10 cents. It says 0 0.0999. Guys, this is basically 10 cents. And so, um, but man, oh man, if you look at like, so this is a, let's just look here. This is a web browser. This is a w search engine. It's coming out with a browser too. Um, but let's just look at another one. Is a basic attention token. Is a browser. It is market cap is one point seven billion. So if I just take one point seven billion, which is the market cap of basic attention token. And I divide it by the market cap of, so it's 43 times, basic attention token is worth 43 times more than um, pre-search. I'm going to show you how cool pre-search is. I'm not comparing them. I'm just going to show you how cool pre-search is um, just because I'm doing the video on them. So. You guys got the information here about this, man. This is way the, uh, the you saw the market cap super low, okay? So here's the pre-search section. Super cool website. This is the way it works. So this is the pre-search engine. It also has all these YouTube, Google, you see these, DuckDuckGo. So when I'm searching this, I'm searching pre-search, but I'm also searching YouTube, I'm searching Google, I'm searching, um, I, and I can put, I can add a hundred different providers. So if I want to put CNBC in here, I can click that. If I want Coin Telegraph, pop that in there. And now Coin Telegraph is now on my search provider. You see that? And so that's very cool. I also want you to look at here, guys. See how this is 1.32 pre up here? Every time I do a search, I get 0.12 pre. So I'm going to do a search here, guys. So in other words, I can customize this to anything I want. If I search just in the engine, it'll search all these and give me all the results, okay? 
So just, just to give you an example, if I search Google, I'm going to get the Google results. If I search Etherscan, I'm going to get the Etherscan results. If I search Twitter, I'm going to get Twitter results, right, through Twitter. But here I can get all of them, and I get paid for it. So like if I just cite, let's do Michael Knight. So we're going to search Michael Knight. Now, Michael Knight, for those who don't know, was the Knight Rider. He's David Hasselhoff later on. But this is going to bring up the engine pre-search org, okay? I want you guys to see this right here at the top, This your ad here. Um, now, if you were somebody who wanted the keyword Michael Knight, which most people probably don't, right? But let's say you sold like Knight Rider watches. This was the Knight Rider, and he was the really cool television series. Um, where he had a car that talked to him. And um, if you had like a, you sold Knight Rider watches or something like that, you could stake your ad here and it would come up first. Not even kidding. So look here, this is how easy it is. Staking dashboard. If I wanted, let's just say I wanted Bitcoin. If I wanted the keyword Bitcoin, I would need to stake so people are doing this. These is these are the keywords. These are what are people are doing. Kraken's doing how to buy Bitcoin. They've got six hundred fifty thousand staked, and and um, Bitmex has this Bitcoin. But let's say you go to Electronium. So they have eight point nine million. So anytime that I put Bitcoin, you're, I'm going to see an ad from Bitmex, guaranteed. Now let's say I was an Electronium holder or an Electronium business. I have an Electronium business, and Nobody's staking it. So if I stake any amount here, I don't know if it's any amount, but if I stake in the top staker, if I search Electronium, then my ad will go here. So let's try the Bitcoin. Remember it was Bitmax. So if I search Bit, if I go back to pre-search and I search Bitcoin. So guys, also look up here. I'm getting 12 cents or 12 pre's every time I do this. Bitcoin, I'm search Bitcoin. Boom. So here it is. Here's the ad. So this actually, guys, is really cool. So I didn't want to show you this ad first. So this is the ad. Bitmax. So because they are there, they get the, because they're the top staker, every time somebody searches the keyword Bitcoin, Bitmax is going to come up. If you were staking more with your business, you had a Bitcoin business, your ad would come up. So now as more and more people start using this program, pro, eyes are on this, and, and people are getting paid, and they're getting better searches. They're going to start using this, and it's going to be more and more. Uh, it's going to be more and more beneficial for these companies to have the keyword searches locked up, and then they can advertise to them. So, as the more popular the program, the the platform becomes, um, the more these people are going to need to stake in order to get these keywords, which is going to put uh, good good economics on the token because people are going to be staking the token and holding it and buying it. There's going to be buy pressure on it. So that's very cool. If we look at this, um, another feature I want to show you guys of this token is right here, this Bitcoin. See right here, this part right here? This is a pre-search official version. So if you go to Google and you put in Bitcoin, you won't see this. You'll get this, okay? But you won't get this because this is put together by pre-search. And so, as the, commu so the, the community is putting together their own information. So in other words, when you search for things on pre-search, as the, the network grows, you're going to get content that is exclusive to pre-search and other content. Whereas, like, let's say you go to, uh, the, you know, the Google search engine and you search for uh, this, you're not going to get the pre, you're going to get the Google stuff. You're not going to get the pre-search stuff. So, um, the other interesting thing that I heard about this was that if um, on the pre-search uh, of like packets, if let's say something was descent was censored, so something was taken off the internet um, or censored on another platform, I don't know how they do this, but this is what I, I think I understand is that they can actually go and index it and bring it back on to the pre um, the, the pre search platform so that it can be curated and then brought back into the web. So in other words, like if somebody's censoring something, it can be kind of like um, recovered here and then managed. So pretty cool, right? Um, 
Let's look at, remember the electronium example for an advertiser. So if electronium comes in here, you put in electronium, there is no person there. So if your ad was here, your ad would be right here. And of course, they actually have made this. So they're very crypto friendly. Also guys, I want you to look right here. You can, so if I want to see what YouTube says about electronium, I click that, boom, there you go. If I want to see what uh, Etherscan says about electronium, they don't say anything because it's not electronium. But if I want to say, see what CoinGecko says about them, I click that one, right? If I want to see there's like a Netflix or a Twitter, I can click that one. And on all these, and so, and I'm, and you see here as I'm searching, I'm getting more pre, okay? So when I search here, and I just put it in, I hit enter. So when I do the Michael Knight, right? Michael Knight, and I hit enter, I got everything. But if I just want to see what, like, Netflix, let's say I wanted to, like, watch on Netflix, I'm not logged in, but this would pull up Michael Knight on Netflix only. And I would get paid for it, I think. I don't know if you get paid for just those. Maybe just the pre-searches. Um, but guys, you can also, and I, like, I don't know if I showed you this already, but you can go through and you can add all these different providers, dude. So, um, let's see what's going on here. Yeah, you can search here. So I can go, yeah, I already, I don't know if I already showed you that, but ESPN, I can, anything I want in here, out of, out of all these things, there's a ton of them, Reddit. I mean, so many different things. It's such an awesome thing. Um, you can buy tokens right here. Um, I think right here, right? You can buy tokens here with Visa, Ethereum. Um, you can... Uh, and so that's very cool. You guys see how, how this is all working? Um, one thing I want to show you guys is the... Uh, the CEO and what he says, the problem with the, the big tech company is that um, has the monopoly on, on the internet, basically. So check this out, what, who they're competing with. I just wanted to take a minute to talk about really the current search landscape and why it's so important that pre-search is launching a pro-freedom decentralized search engine powered by cryptocurrency. Uh, so, uh, Chris, if you can go to the next screen, uh, first thing is really, you know, uh, Google having massive uh, monopoly here. We, we're talking more than 90% of, uh, of search all running through Google. Uh, they control the number one email platform uh, with Gmail, number one video site with YouTube, number one browser with Chrome number one mobile operating system with Android, the number one Maps app uh, with Google Maps, the number one office platform with Google Drive, and the number one news site with Google News. Uh, so really, that's a, a lot of number ones controlled by one company. Uh, they've been fined billions of dollars for uh, illegally exerting monopoly power. Uh, they've been uh, investigated and are being investigated by the Department of Justice and almost every uh, state attorney general. Uh, so anyways, you guys get the understanding of why this is needed. Um, one more thing I want to show you that's really cool, guys, is if I search. So if I go to pre-search and, oh, let me show you how the node works. This will make more sense. So this is how it all works. So what happens is... Let me make sure I'm on here. You can see me. Okay. So what happens is, you see, where I'm going to just describe it and you can watch it. But you, you're going to send out. So I have a search. I send it out. It goes through a gateway node, which gets my search. And then from there, doesn't give any of my information out. And then sends my search out. So it's like a, a block. In other words, it sends my search out, not from my address, to the nodes that are going to retrieve the information. And then they send it back to this gate who then sends the information to me. And so um, I'm kept private and then the nodes are paid and so is the person who searches paid. We'll take a look here, it's pretty self-explanatory. Introducing pre-search nodes, a new way for pre-search community members to participate in the pre-search ecosystem. This is how it works. A user does a search on pre-search. Their query is sent to a node gateway server. 
The gateway anonymizes the user's search, removing their IP address, device information, and any tracking codes to make their search anonymous. The gateway then selects a node, a piece of software running on a distributed network of computers based on the node's speed, location, and trust levels. The gateway then sends the anonymized search query to the node. The node distributes the search to available search indexes plus a number of other resources, such as external search engines, APIs, and databases. The node retrieves the results and returns them to the gateway. The gateway provides the node operator with a reward Boom. in the form of pre-tokens. The gateway then packages results, keyword ads, and settings into a result set. Keyword ads placed by advertising using keyword staking. The gateway then sends the information to the pre-search web server. The web server builds the search user experience and returns it to the searcher's web browser. Finally, the pre-search engine provides a reward to the user in the form of the pre-token. And that is how the pre-search engine provides top quality search results while aligning the interests of all the participants, users, node operators, and advertisers with pre-tokens. Massive, right? All right, so that's really cool to see. You see how that works. Um, let me show you this. This is really cool with their, with their deal. So. You saw how it kept my, um, it keeps your info private. So let's look at a hairstylist, okay? Let's say I wanted to search. I just wanted to search hairstylists. Go pre-search. Okay. So you see how it gave me, uh, everything in Florida. So this is Florida. This is where I live. So this is localized. So I had this, see this bar right here. You can hit this open. This will give me, so if I want to search for something geographically, like I don't need a hairstylist anywhere else besides where I don't need a hairstylist, first of all. <laughs> but like, let's say my wife needed a hairstylist and I want to look in my area. Um, if I have this global icon on, it will give me local search reports. If I don't, it won't. So if I just hit it now, there is no information. Um, it's giving me Washington D.C. It basically gives me the United States uh, information if I don't have that on. But if I go if I go here and I hit this global thing, then it'll give me once they're local. Oops. If I hit this this on and I search, then it'll give me the local the local ones, right? And even on these local level, my IP never goes out to the internet because of that gateway. So the first gateway strips my IP from it, from what I understand. Um, and so even though that I'm searching locally, my IP is actually never going out to the internet because of the way that it's set up. So that's very cool. Um, That is very cool how you can do that. Um, and guys, the, the whole time you're like, like just imagine, like if I want to find like this Michael Knight thing, right? So I have 156 pre. Anytime I'm searching on the internet, I can just go here. Let's even say I wanted to search Twitter. I can search here. Michael, let's do Michael Knight. Let's go back. So let's go Michael Knight, right? And then I wanted to search Twitter for Michael Knight. I go here and I get all the Twitter from just Michael Knight. So, and then if I go back, right, I got paid pre for searching Twitter. Does that make sense? So I'm anytime I'm searching, I'm just gonna search here. If I wanted to find something on YouTube, I could say uh, Sean Davis. Crypto for the people, right? Search them, boom. Here I am. And so, but let's say I wanna just find it on YouTube now. I just go YouTube. And then if I go back, I got paid pre. YouTube wouldn't pay me pre. So, wow, guys, very cool. You can see how this is going to work. And then also, guys, I think you guys understand 
the dynamics behind the staking. So this is a better search than Google in my opinion. This is decentralized. This is paying me, paying people just to do it. It's fast, it's got more options. Um, there, um, and so as this grows, there'll be more eyeballs on here. There is gonna be more demand for advertising from advertisers. And they're going to be competing under this keyword staking, right? So, um, and to get in front of the keyword staking, you have to be number one. I'm just putting cryptocurrencies here. You see, Binance is already doing this. Right here, Binance is doing this. Coinbase is doing this. Okay, crazy. Oh, these are actually people. Wow, how smart. These are referral links. Oh my God, so smart. Anyway, so these are referral links from, from people for Coinbase. Very smart. And so what I'm saying is the max stake is going to get shown. So this Binance right here, let's just do a search and see if it gets shown. Pre-search. I'm going to go um, Litecoin. Comes up here. Here is the Binance thing we saw, right? Where is it? Sorry. Here. Oh, where is it? I don't know where I did with it. Anyway, you saw it right here. This is this one. He's got the front stake, so it shows up first. What a cool thing. It's a way to guarantee your advertising in front of the eyeballs. And so who's going to advertise on this? People who are into um, cryptocurrency, people who are into freedom, all these type of people. So they're going to, you know, uh, advertise here. Now, the last thing I want to do, guys, is just kind of go over. Um, I'm just going to leave this up here. And I'm going to go over uh, some of the, the latest news. So the CEO, uh, I watched this late. So the one thing I, I really like, I've been just following these guys for a couple of days, but there's a lot of info. So they're doing a lot of work and they always giving updates. Looks like weekly updates. So the latest updates are like this, guys. Just what's going on with it now is that, I got it written down somewhere. I got my little notes. Okay. So. Right now, the see how many um, I've already made. Like, I don't know, I'm making these pre's by doing this video. Every so every time you do a search, you get 0 0.12 pre. Okay. Now, out of that's something I I want to tell you that he um, is set. So that's a set thing. So this pre-search token. Um, see how there's 396. Uh, million circulating supply 80 million of that it right now is staked okay and that's growing fast so they're trying to get to 100 million really quick there are 1100 nodes on the testnet version of it so there's a regular version and then there's like a testnet you can get to the testnet my going here uh, you go pre search testnet it looks like that and then it'll have that link on it and so anytime you want to search the test net, you can do that there. And that actually strengthens the information in the node there. They're also, the pre-search is creating a side bridge for new, uh, for new chains. Right now it's an ERC-20 token. It's always an ERC-20 token, but um, they're developing side chains. So one of the problems with Ethereum right now is the gas fees. And so they're, gonna, they're creating a side chain. I don't know who it's with. I think it might be with Binance. But I'd love to see one with Avalanche, maybe Binance, maybe one coin, but where you can uh, bridge, uh, you can bridge this token to other chains. Okay, and so that's being worked on now in the latest update. And they've built their own pre-search browser. So just like you have um, a Brave browser, they're going to have a pre-search browser. Um, which they, they actually wanted to actually just use the Brave browser, and they wanted Brave to open it up. They thought Brave was going to open up. The browser to like search engines, like new, you know, different search engines can be in there. And they wanted that option, never happened. So what they're doing is they they just made their own browser. It doesn't have all the functionality that like it's a lot like Brave. They said it doesn't have a lot of the functionality that Brave has in order, in in terms of how Brave, you know, you can uh, does little payments to everybody and stuff like that. Because that's not what PreSearch does, but they have it scaled to what they do. So there is a PreSearch thing. So, um. 
Man, I don't know what else to say. I just wanted to get that in front of your face so you can take a look at it and make a decision yourself. I freaking love it. Um, Google decentralization. I see sort of the writing on the walls with all that. And um, I am um, excited to show this, guys. So uh, it's great. There's no tracking, no censorship. You earn pre-search as you search. Um, I think the ad words, keyword staking is absolutely genius. And um, I look forward to this thing uh, progressing, man. So that's all I want to do for now is just give you some of that info. Um, I didn't want to make it too long, but I wanted to give you enough information so that you sort of understood it the way I do. And um, so go check it out, guys. I, I, I'm, I'm, I've got some myself. Um, I'm not, this is no recommendation to buy or anything like that, but this is something to put on your radar. I'm trying to find undervalued things that are going to be valued a lot in the future. And I'm looking for cool projects that are um, that are helping the, you know the, the state of of the world, man. And this is exactly the type of project that I love. It's undervalued. It's freaking built right now. They're building it, and it's working. It's a product you can use right now. It's ready to freaking rock. And um, I know they're doing a lot of marketing this year. So, anyways, this is not sponsored in any sort of way. I just wanted you guys to know about it. I didn't know about it, and when I found out about it, I was like, I wish someone would have told me. So I'm telling you, keep kicking ass, collecting crypto, guys, and I'll talk to you later.